Hey up troops, welcome back to the Latana Army, I'm Litz and this is Fortnite Save the World and what we're looking at today is this, the Dragon's Roar. I've seen some people have got it in birthday llamas, I think they must have got it from, or well, they've recently picked up this weapon and they want to know if it's any good. So this is the one that I've got at the moment, it's got elemental damage on it there, it's a fire weapon, it's got 25% damage on it, 75% increased mag size, I've gone for that because the mag size on it is normally quite slow starting and I just feel it needs a little bit more to get going. I've got a critical rating on there, plus 20, and I've also got damage to stun targets with the combo on there as well, increasing the stun duration as well. Now, it's a semi-automatic, which is not normally a weapon that I go for. It's not one I would probably use much in-game. It's a rifle with a modest rate of fire and a capacity that penetrates numerous enemies and sets them on fire. Damage is effective against all nature enemies, but weak against water enemies. So we're going to jump into a mission. I'm going to use Urban Assault with it, just because it's one I've been using a lot lately. And we're going to see how we get on with that. So stay tuned and let's see how we do. Okay then, so let's start with the Storm Chest. I think there are nature husks in this one. So this should be super effective. Now you're not going to get the rate of fire on the headshots from this like you would... Uh, with a non-semi-automatic weapon, but it's still going to be pretty darn powerful just because of what it is. Now, this mission, we tried it earlier, and we actually failed it. <laughs> but I think that was down to us not building enough traps, and we have actually got a Mega Base Kyle with us on this one, so things should go a little bit more smoothly, I am hoping. I do like it now that the missions are getting tougher, though. Would help if I put my turret up, you know, seeing as we're at a storm chest. It's kind of the civil thing to do. <laughs> okay, let's put the other one up. There we go. I think we're clear. Just need to get the taker when it comes. Blasters. One of our drones has taken damage. Alright, so it does take things out pretty quickly. I need to watch my bags. My bags are really full right now. Okay, so let's just see how good or how effective this can be. This is gonna be tough though, because you don't get the rate of fire. With the headhunter like you would with a, say, automatic weapon. So it is going to be a little bit tougher. But we have got nature husks. So we should be alright, I think, still. But there is going to be a boss on this one. So it is going to get tough. Quick reload. There we go. Oh, we've got to take her down there as well. Oh, it's not. It's a, it's a, it's a lobber thingamajig. <laughs> I always forget the names. Okay, so we should be able to easily move the bomb. Alright, so the, we're going to get nature husks as well, which we're expecting. This is not going to be an easy mission, though, by any means. Hopefully, we've got a good teammates. And as I said, I'm always pleased to see a constructor. Nice. Okay, so the bomb's still on full. Whoa, alright, we didn't see those. <laughs> alright. Those little ones are the worst, especially when the light's like this as well. It's really hard to see what's going on. Got you something. Okay, just grenade at the feet there. Classic urban assault I don't move. Alright, it's weird not going for the headshots or not having to go for the headshots. Okay, so individually it dispatches enemies really quick. I'm not even scoping this, I'm just hitting them. Just pointing and clicking at them, it's super, super easy. I would like it if you held it down and it had the stability as well. We Look at that base. I mean, cool fair that play, that is, that is a good base. <sighs> okay then, so it looks like we're off. So we've got a lot of nature husks, so we're hoping that this dragon's roar is going to hold its own. The mega base Kyle's done a fantastic job of building as a base. So we don't really need to stand here in the trap tunnel. It's just where I was when it started. <laughs> All right, let's get down to the end. Let the trap tunnel do its work. Storm's getting rowdy. Okay, we've got healing pads and everything. So we kind of can just let them come through. Not possible. Let them do the work and just pick them off when they're weakened and they get to the walls. Uh -uh. We... All right, you know what? Let's put a turret up as well, because why not? Look at all that static. My graphics card is loving that. <laughs> Alright, here we go. So all we got to do is just pop these headshots off. It's quite clunky fire and it's a good weapon, don't get me wrong. It's definitely got a lot of impact on it. And you can definitely feel it working. The only issue I've got with it is that it's a little bit... It's a little bit... Well, it's not slow firing, 
it'll fire as click as uh, as quick as what you click it. Oh, we got a boss over there. Look. All right, let's keep on going. Grenade out. All right, so we've got the static in there as well. I'm just trying to trying to kind of thin these out for when the uh, when they get down there. The boss is down there already, though. Not possible. Boom. So he's definitely one that's got to go. Maybe we could put the hacksaw on. Get a better rate. There we go. Because then the rate of fire that we're going to get from this is nuts. He's definitely not going to like that, though. He's targeting us. <laughs> definitely doesn't like us. Okay, down we go. Reload. I'm healing pads are looking good about now. Okay, he's definitely lagging around. There you go. Whoa. Okay, this is really hard with the amount of lag that we're getting. Alright, let's get on here. Oh my days, look at this for lag. This is ridiculous. Okay, let's get back around to the... Oh no! Alright, we've got to get these guys out of here. We tried the grenade in. We'll have to step back because we are on our way out. God, this is going to be extraordinarily tough. Put another static grenade in. We could be going down any second. But this is lagging like crazy. This is almost unplayable. If you look on there, it actually says, you know, it shows that it's not just, not just our computer. So this must be... This must be an actual thing, that, like an issue that they're having at the minute. I've never experienced this before. This is like the worst lag that I've ever seen. Alright, let's just keep on. How long we got left to go? Alright, but the dragon's roar is still holding up. I mean, look, that just vanished. I mean, where, where did that go? 30 seconds left. I still think we're okay. We have took a little bit of damage on the launcher, I think, in this corner. You know what? Let's just put a roof over it. Traps are doing the work there. It's hard to get a good combat score, though. <laughs> What's that? All right, here we go. Put another static grenade in there. I still think we're okay. Get a grenade up there. Oh, I missed. God damn it. When you miss with grenades. All right, that's it. So we're actually through there. We've actually done that. But that was really tough. I think the lag was harder than the actual uh, defense itself. That was pretty tough. Okay, but we did okay there, you know, we still got a decent score. So let's have a look what we've actually got. But the lag on that one was absolutely intense. Okay, so we got some level 6 loot then. Okay, so we've got hero XP. We've got people. We've got schematics. Uh, what else have we got? We've got some gold on there, which we need lots of because I need to finish off the event store now. Let's hear the dialogue. Is all that ban justice sorted out? Yeah. No. No. Yeah, no. Oh, come on. I won't. Fine, then don't. I haven't. Good for you. Great for me. Amazing for you. <laughs> hey, it wasn't just me, okay? I made my fair share of mistakes. Probably more than anyone else in the band. Not probably. Absolutely. Definitely. By far. Whoa. I'm sorry I made life hard for you and everyone else. If I could take it back, I would. Okay. So... We good? Officially good. That was weirdly efficient. <laughs> yeah, Turing does that to you. Okay, the dialogue in this just gets better and better. I'm really liking the story at the minute. Well, we've got more gold as well. We've also got forces of nature. To become the nature hustle. So we've got the amp up there, which we'll take for sure. A piece of cake. So we've got the road trip tickets. Always need those. And we've got the mission alert, which is a pure drops of rain. Oh, we knew about that already. And then we've also got the the weapons cache, which is a garbage copper slug gun. <laughs> Thanks to your periscope scouting, we found what appeared to be multiple underground bases. This calls for some exploration. All right, then, guys. Well, that was the Dragon's Roar, then. A pretty decent one. It was hard to show it off effectively just because of the lag that we were getting on there. But when we did get to use it, it's got really good impact. The stats on it is really paid off. I think it definitely holds its own. I'm not a massive fan of semi-automatic weapons. It's not my... It's not what I would go to. Personally, I would probably like to go more for the, like, the Silent Spectre and do the stats up that way. But, you know, it's totally down to you guys. If, it's, if you're all right with semi-automatic weapons, then the Dragon's Roar is definitely a great choice. It's definitely going to hold its own extremely 
extremely well in Stonewood and in Plankerton. So it's definitely worth leveling up in that, you know, for them kind of areas. So guys, if that was helpful, make sure you drop a like on the video and comment down below. I'd love to hear what you've got to say. I've updated the Discord link down below because I hear that expired. So I had to put a new Discord link down below in the description. And if you're not part of the Latana army already, hit that subscribe button and I will catch you on the next video. Thanks for watching this, guys.